Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Matvey. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today we're doing a reaction of a new Plenty song that came out titled Still Life featuring Tosin Nabasi. And I guess Tosin Nabasi takes a solo somewhere in the song, so that'll be very interesting and cool to hear. I have my guitar, my Strandberg Bowden 8 string ready to go in case uh, we find something interesting. Sometimes I do this and the song is too ridiculous. I can't really learn it in a allotted time frame. So, um, you know, I don't know what to expect with this. Sometimes Pliny has beautiful, kind of easy, easy riffs as far as there's just like, you know, these melodies with this atmospheric reverb and delays and he's just like, you know, playing the most beautiful thing. Other times he's doing some crazy widdly stuff and I think most of his songs are in D flat, like drop D flat. I think that's what he typically opts for. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna be around there. My guitar is not tuned to that. And that's why it's good to just listen with your ears and try to figure stuff out. Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. Let's get right into it. Plenty Still Life featuring Tosin Abasi. Before we get started, real quick, if you are new here, how about hitting your boy up with a subscription? Doesn't cost you anything, helps me out, makes me feel good and keeps you up to date with new videos I am doing. Just like Little Caesars, we are hot and ready. Let's go. Okay. Okay, I've seen, um, I think I've seen clips of this on Instagram. It's like a nice little plate of, that's not a, that's a different guitar. There's a guitar. One thing I love about Pliny's style is he almost has like a subtle like Pat Metheny vibe. With just some of the chords he uses and the way he develops melodies. Really cool. That guitar is interesting. Looks like that's a Godin. Is it a, was it an eight string? I don't know. Oh. Okay, so there's some kind of meaning with the song is titled Still Life. And then the stuff goes from lively to not so lively. People have been snacking. Yeah, okay. So cool. Wow, that's... <laughs> I wonder if those are just props or if that was like a real fish. Tover, I feel like this was... If that was like real food, real fish, you know, probably not the best smelling set. I don't know. The song is sick. The song is amazing. Oh, wow. I bet that's why Tosin's on this. I guarantee you it has something to do with the fact that there's this weird selective picking thing. There he is. There's our boy. Look at his right hand. When he does that kind of stuff, it's, it doesn't really make sense. 
but you hear the notes, so you're like, okay, I believe you, but... Wow. That's cool. Very cool. Wow. Is that the end? That is the end. Okay. How about it? That was uh, that was really cool. Um, I know I do. I'm going to maybe try to learn something, but let's just kind of recap the song. Uh, really cool. One thing I really appreciate about Pliny is that his stuff... There's lots of layers, there's a lot, a lot going on, you know, over like, you know, there's like this chunking, heavy rhythm happening, but then underneath all that, there's like a bunch of other like very soundscape-y, ambient kind of thing going on there. I don't know really how to explain it. Really cool stuff. He's got a style, he's got a thing that you can kind of expect but he's a little bit of like an oddball with all, you know, in, in the best of ways where sometimes you don't know what to expect because he's done some crazy acoustic stuff. He's done some straight up metal stuff. He's done super jazzy stuff and he's blended all of those together. I actually saw it in this video, right? There was, there's little elements of, you know, I, re I recalled like Pat Metheny kind of thing. And there was that acoustic guitar, I think, that Godan. He's a wizard at just blending all that stuff together. Let's get into trying to learn a riff from this. I don't even know where to begin. I think, I think we can make this pretty simple and easy and learn the main little melody that kind of plays throughout the piece. I, I, I'm not gonna even try to play Tosin's part, but um, yeah, let's see what we can do here. That part, let's learn that part, let's learn that part, okay. What is that? E, right, so. Right, so we can do E from the fifth string, fifth fret, something like that, but that, it needs to be up here, right? We want the timbre of the thicker strings to round out the sound a little bit. This is a little too tinny based on the kind of vibe the song is giving us. So this works a little bit better in my opinion. Okay, so we have, all right, so we're kind of outlining an E minor triad here. Right, we're doing E, B, and then he goes to that G. Something like that, okay. Oh, he threw in that Pliny note. There's a note he always hits, doesn't always hit, but there's a little embellishment he does with songs where there's like a, one note is, not supposed to be in the key and he it's a nice embellishment kind of like with the um like the flat five in a blues thing right right that thing he's doing something like that i guarantee you it, it might even be the flat five yeah dude Okay, it's a little bit, I would look at this kind of like a E minor pentatonic thing, right? So for that little intro thing, I don't even know if you want to call it an intro, but, right? And I know this on the eighth, eight string, so that might confuse you, so I'll be, I'll try to be very deliberate with you. So check this out. This intro section here really is just E minor pentatonic. So he starts on E, right? And he just, right, plays B. So right there we have E, G, A, and B. And so we have E, G, A, B, and D. Those are our five notes, E minor pentatonic right here. 
right? But if you played it like that, it doesn't have that charming, awesome Pliny vibe, right? You have to, you have to give it some sauce. You have to play around with the notes a little bit. And that's how you end up with this really cool. <laughs> Very cool. There it is. Here we go. There's always got to be something that's just a little, little, little difficult. Yes, dude, that's it. That's it. That's the end of the riff. That's the end of the riff. All right, cool. We figured it out. Okay, a little difficult for, for me to play, but let's go over that real quick. We learned it. Let's break this down real quick, real quick, and then we'll we'll call it a wrap. Okay, let's talk about the intro. I kind of nailed it down. I can't play it up to speed yet. It's that last part that's kind of crazy, but here is what's going on in the song. So the melody is hanging out in E minor pentatonic world, right? We start with this E, going to this B, then we go to G, And that little run there is like a pretty you know, pentatonic-y kind of run. All right, so there are all our five notes in the pentatonic scale. We have E, G, A, B, and D, right? And then right here, we're sliding from D to E. Let me slide back to D. And then right here from A to B, slide there. And then the descending lick at the end there, we're playing A, G, sliding up to F sharp. And then we're playing B and then landing on A, right? So that whole little section. Something like that, right? I just learned it, so it's not quite right, but those are the notes being played. So the last little bit, his little run he does, it's a little bit of a bluegrass thing. So let me move this over. There you go, so you can kind of see here. So E minor pentatonic in open position, we have, right? Those are the notes. Same notes as down here, but uh, now he's doing this. That's what he's playing way faster, right? So it's just this. And it just has this bluegrassy kind of timbre to it because that's what's really popular in bluegrass style music. Okay, I think that's a good spot to rest. Uh, maybe one day, maybe I'll buy the tab and make it easier. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what song you'd like me to check out next and break down for you. I love a challenge. I will do just about anything. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.